Hello guys, so the patch notes are finally out. So just to sum it up in a fast way, there's going to be two new legends. Uh, the light one doesn't seem as OP as we wished and is more on a utility level. Well, the dark goalkeeper is kind of really broken and destroys the entire principle of Curran and Vonchi. Uh, and also destroys utility. A few EEs, but nothing really great was added. A new manager, some new forms of Evo, some skins, the PvP is, is there, and we also got a bit more info on the teamwork. It's going to be free to reset, because I know a lot of people would, was fearing that. Uh, some new backgrounds are going to be added, and there's going to be a few little changes in the quest, but most of us have already completed them. And they're going to be adding something called a growth pack. So especially if you've already finished all of this, uh, you could just buy for $60 free thousand crystal, who's kind of OP, who I plan to do. And they've added some new weekly packs, where, as you can tell, this one right here is the most broken one of them all. Because it's basically 60 dimension stones for the cash price of 30. So, it's just really broken. And the free star meras, they're kind of doing that because it's impossible to get them. Who I do find there is a problem if you've got to pay $10 for free stars. At least give us a 6 star at that price. There's going to be a bit more info, uh, some ace bursts. They're saying they're going to balance them, so I won't waste too much time. And there's, gonna, there's been some stone changes, some manager changes, and a bunch of fixes. So that's the, the fast version of what's going down. Now I'm going to go back into detail. So the very first thing is the light legend. Um, from what I understood, some people were able to access some of her chains and information on the read it, but again, I'm not 100% sure about that info, so I'm just going to talk about the official one, but it did seem very credible. So I would say go there, check it, it's been posted uh, by Hyaz, uh, that guy's really chill, and just check it out. So the first thing that is kind of sad is that Ace increased allies uh, life and recovery by 12%, that's... That's just insulting. Don't, don't even put that there. Okay, so recover the target's action bar by 100% and decrease the active skills cooldown by 95%. Now, this is the one issue we have is, is it the receiving target or is it hers? Because that makes a huge difference. I also do want to point out she is a passer with no pass increase on any single one of her skills, who also means... How bad is her pass going to be? I'm just saying, like, even low-level 5-star, 4-star passers have pass increase. I do get she has a kid, but she's supposed to be doing pass effect, especially since she's an inline passer. So even if she's able to gattle her passes, if they don't do any kind of buff, it's just like, what, an action bar buff? You could use a speed totem, and it would do the same thing and have more utility value. So I'm really questioning her value overall, but let's see exactly what it does when that's released. Now, when an ally within a position passes the ball, the allies look at it in the vertical line of Gibral, recovers 20% of their lost life and 30% of spirit. Now, ally within the position passes the ball. I'm guessing that means anyone passes the ball. So if you align her right in the middle, aiming directly at the goalkeeper, does that mean that every time someone makes a move, it heals? So if you put her in back line, when the goalkeeper gets shot at and passes, that gives a 20% heal. That would be really broken. I'm, I'm just saying. But I don't know. Well, we'll see exactly how they do that. But I sense a lot of potential right there. Uh, aura of Retribution. Increased damage at allies within the position. It's like by 10%. It increased critical rate by 15%. I feel this could have been a little bit higher for a legend. But I, I guess. Hopefully this will be upgraded when she hits her EE. Um... Reverse Sanctuary 2, when becoming unable to move, the entire team receives 50% less damage, and her critical damage resistance will increase by 50% for one minute. Now, i got to admit, this skill is extremely unclear to some people. So, under my understanding, and again, this is my understanding, uh, I'm imagining that this means when she's taken out or when she's paralyzed. So, when, like, shot on by Curran or certain specific actor, there's really not that many ways to paralyze. So I'm hoping it does also apply on an ability effect, because if it doesn't, it's really a waste of an entire skill right there. But we'll wait and see for more information on that. 
Uh, developers comment, the strong advantage is the fact that receiver can instantly gain a turn. Well, yeah, but that's the same with every single passer. And take a step further from this point, focus on utility. I, again, they're not really answering our question, but we'll see. And again, she has no speed buff, no um, action bar buff to herself, no pass buff. So again, if you're just trying to move fast, put a Milky Way, you get 45% speed or even a Murian. I, I don't know, I just don't feel that she has that much value. We'll see exactly how the heal skill works, because I think this is where the biggest value is going to come, especially from players who already are extremely fast, and Von Chilines don't need her, so she just doesn't make sense in her own element. Now, the dark player, Presti, who, has got, who I've got to admit, in my eyes, is now the best goalkeeper in the game, by far. Now, she is the literal counter to the utility style. So, Ace decreased damage coming from Dark players by 20%. Again, really bad. I don't see any good value, especially compared to the previous Aces like Jiho. Uh, this is sad. Uh, Clockwork of Purification. Shield removes active debuff effects on you when you get attacked and recover 30% of your life for 10 minutes. Actives two times. Now, we really need to know what the cooldown of this is because that makes a huge difference. But, it, from what a lot of people are using, currently this would mean that when shot at, Elaine's debuffs would not be active on her. So I think it's really a counter to that, who is kind of cool when you think about it. And a 30% heal is not bad, but it is limited to 2 times. Now for 2 times in 10 minutes, you'll say it's not that much, but wait till you read the rest of her kits. It's actually going to globe pretty much the entire time. Except, of course, if you're able to pull off an active pass in between, or if something happens. Now, Clockwork of Carrying increased the effect of Spirit Stones on Presti by 25%, and her life by 500 when placed in the goalkeeper position. Well, I don't know why you would place her anywhere else. She has no line buff or anything, so I'm just... I don't, I don't know why this was added. I think it's because people abuse the, the way they use Jen. Anyway, point is, Spirit Stone buffed, that's cool. Life Extra buffed, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But the Spirit Stone, when you think about it, this could have actually a lot of power because this would mean that the DR buffs would be increased by 25%, who on a goalkeeper, since that's all you really care about, you could get some really nice value and get back to the old values we had before the passive nerfs. So we'll see exactly how that goes down. Clockwork of Biting. Now this is her broken skill. When receiving a shot, paralyze and decrease the enemy shooter's critical rate by 40% for 4 minutes. With a 100% chance. So already I think this is her most broken skill. Because paralyzing a striker just means he can't do anything. Cancelling out the entire value of any utility striker ever. So, for example, Bonchi, Uriel, Lat, anyone, basically. I don't think I need to say anything. And now, what I want to point out for a lot of you uh, who have certain issues in COD, and I'm not saying I'm not part of you, especially when facing the hated Latios and current lines, uh, I'd like to point out four minutes without them moving. That, that starts feeling really good, especially with current. That means he shoots, but he'll never be able to shoot back on you because the cooldown of your paralysis is two minutes and his paralysis is four. Of course, if they have an active pass that cancels it out, but even then, there's still a debuff just to counter that, who I think is kind of overkill, but, I mean, we're not going to complain. It, it was kind of time we got a legendary goalkeeper who we actually feared. And now this is, you're going to say, well, it, it's kind of nice she's getting buffed, but she doesn't have any goalkeeper buffs. Well, here it comes. Again, just goalkeeper position because we don't want you to place her facing the striker to abuse this and have an Angela at the same time. Uh, Raleigh, Guardian of the Knights, receive a 5% less damage and 4% increased critical damage resistance for every allied player that is active on the field. Uh, what I'm thinking is, basically, if you put something like a Shaman in backline with her, you could really max out on this because both of them are using the exact opposite mechanics, so you would always be at a nice value. But what this does mean is that she's going to get, if everyone's alive, she's going to get 55% DR, who in a single skill is kind of insane. And even if there's a few people dead, it's still going to be pretty damn high. 
especially if you can get some form of team revive in the back line, uh, active healing, anything that's pretty good. Like, for example, a black ivy move would just revive everyone, so it would max that back up. So a lot of those team revive skills have a lot of value right there. Um, here our goal was to make a goalkeeper that has a different charm compared to King Jin. You do know people hate Jin, but I'm, I'm not even going to go there. Uh, protected by the Guardian Knight. Can be used to refreshing way based on Spirit Stones she equips. I, I don't really see how the stones are going to affect her. I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but I mean she does look broken and I'm going to try to draw her just for the hell of it. But hey, why not? Um, Extreme Evolution Evelyn. Well, I mean, we were kind of awaiting it. As always, Warwind gets the love and the other elements don't. Critical weight 20, critical damage 25, reflex 30, and Black Ivy just got junk. She didn't really gain anything. She got 5% in one stack when she really needed some change to her skills. So, conclusion is, never really use Black Ivy. Her kit will never be good enough. I'm sorry to say this. Um, now, let's go down. We have Lindbergh. Uh, it is honestly a pretty decent buff. On top of it, it hires co-op defense chance. It gives max life, critical resistance, a nice combination with Presti. Uh, I'm going to say it's, it's just pretty cool. I'm not going to say there's nothing bad with it. She was already she already had a pretty nice kit, and this just really complements it. Not broken, but pretty damn good. Now, the new manager, uh, from what we understood, this is going to be only a season... Um, uh, reward for uh, the the club matches for the moment. I, that's what I understood. But we'll see exactly what they do. But it's it's kind of cool. Well, you shouldn't actually use her as your manager. You should just use her when you're powering up stones. Uh, decrease spirit stone power up cost by 5% and combination cost by 10. Let's be honest. That's going to reduce a lot of expenses for most of us. Now, fairy cards will appear. Well, I mean, they did already hint up to those. These are going to be replaced for evolution for each element. Um, now, Cupid needed for our door. We'll use as training medals. Uh, Cupid will increase your sentence power up status by five. Well, that we don't really care. And we increase teamwork by five. So it's, it's pretty cool. And they do give us finally a way to transcend Sam and Noah. But I don't think we should waste time on that. Now, teamwork by five is just because of the new teamwork method. If you don't want to waste time, I mean, it's it's pretty cool. It's it's not that bad. I'm not I'm not really gonna say anything negative against it. Calone, a uh, Cal Calona. I can't even pronounce that. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll give Clover status by two. Well, I mean, let's let's be honest. Every single farmer is gonna grind them out and just stick this on their team. A uh, Sparky for Thunder Evolution. Uh, different elements. I I know a lot of people were explaining how they could abuse this. I'm going to say, you know, at this point in the game, why not? Especially with the new elements they've added. So I'm just like, Dense Magma, I think it was called. I'm just going to put them all to that if I need to, because it's just ridiculous. Uh, new premium skins will be added. Lucian, Shanti, Lukia, Jeet. Um, and Jeet will be in an event, so we can know that there's an event with skins coming out soon. Kind of sad it's only one skin, but well, you know... We, we take what we can of BB. Um, you're just saying you're going to make a little pack for you guys. Now, um, the draws have been changed. So, again, if you're looking at the old ones, it's not the same. So, this week is going to be Bora, Kurapila, Ernesto, Silla, Lilith, Bell, Presti. And the following week, Yuri, Lukia, Evelyn, Elua, Lindbergh, Curl, Gibral. So, what can we say about these? Well... For this one, I'm going to say Bora is in Scout, Kurapula is in Scout, Ernesto was kind of new and wasn't in Scout for a while, so you could go if you're Wormwind, but I wouldn't advise it as much. Scylla is old and kind of loses value every single patch. Lilith is kind of extremely conditional. Bell has nice value and is necessary for a lot of chains and thunder, so if you don't have her, this is a really good time to, to try to get her. Mono Dark should just, yeah try to get this as fast as you possibly can. Yuri in Scout, Lucia shouldn't even really use that if you're Thunder. Evelyn, well, it depends your style. You could, but I wouldn't say again to spend some crystals for it. 
The Lua Light, we're waiting for E to know if she's good. Lindbergh, if you're Mono Dark, I would say you could go for it, but you shouldn't have that many crystals left after trying to get Presti. Curl for Wormwind, so yeah, just try to go there. And Gibral for Light, if you're Light. The usual. And the following characters have a greatly ancient chance of being drawn on the weekend event draw. Uh, Char, Kasalov, Shanti, Black Ivy, Jeet, Beth, and Alios. Again, all of these are pretty decent. Uh, Char is, again, still used in COD, but we're going to see exactly how some of the changes to the stones affect her. Uh, Cash Love, well, I mean, it's, it's really a gamble. Depends how you want to play. Shanti is also a great striker. Black Ivy, well, now it's kind of dead. Jeet is really good in Mono Dark. Beth, well, I kind of love her since I use her. And Alios is also broken. So we're just... I would say depend your element, really look at the legends, because now with the new way of the new star players, it doesn't really matter that much if you don't have the five stars. And draw is really meant to try and get legends, even through the raid will suck. Now, Galaxy Life Beta has been added to the game. Um, I'm not going to give the, the whole speech of it, because there's a lot of it, and it, it just, yeah, just, just slowly read it down. It, it's basically telling you, uh, the, the, the whole set of rules. I don't agree with all of them, but it's, it's kind of long. I do like that you can send emotes to other people. I won't really be using this until there's some kind of actual physical reward. I might use it once or twice with friends, but that's kind of where it's going to stop. Now, let's talk about clubs. Things we actually care about. Well, I care about. Depends what you do. Uh, max club level has been increased once again. I love that. So, hopefully, more strength in my case. and Whatever you guys want from it, just tell your club leader and as always, tell them never to give the XP training thing. I don't know why people would do that. Now, club match has been renewed. Uh, that's also pretty cool. Reduced to free, better rewards, premium tickets, managers. Now, I do want to point out the manager is worth more than two suit power-up stones. That's just like, I don't know, a club match suit. So, so... Two and three quarter to uh, two and two thirds of a match suit is a manager that just like sounds ridiculously expensive to me. I, I don't know. You guys can give me your opinion in the comments, but I'm gonna say again: forty premium tickets or one manager. I I don't know what that manager is, but it better be Lucy at this point. Uh, here they're talking about the way the points were given. So they're saying they're gonna remove them. Uh, well, okay. quite. Again, no, no really big difference. You can go down the list. It's it shouldn't make uh, a big difference. They're just changing a little bit the way that suits are upgraded and the way that if there's a too big difference in TA, what it's gonna buff. Because some stuff had gotten really ridiculous uh, in that sense, especially for people running um, COD build, making them completely immortal. Uh, so that's pretty much it. A uh, teamwork has been reworked, as we're already aware. Basically, you get to 30%, you get the max life, and then when you're going to be buffing it a second time, you're going to be able to get a second a bonus stat. There's a list of them. Uh, if you go to the previous notes, they gave the exact values. Here, they're not giving them, who I find extremely weird, because this is supposed to be more detailed. But the cool thing is, they have said that for free, because this was a big fear of the community, uh, you are able to reset it and try to get a better stat. Now, this is going to be something that a lot of people are going to be grinding at the beginning, and eventually they're going to stop when they get the stats they want. For example, passers will want pass effect, center mids will want reflex. I don't think I need to give you the full shebang, but you can get the idea. And it's really cool that the reset's free, because to be honest, even I thought it was going to cost at least 10 dimension stones. Uh, they've added some new matches for the new elementals. Well, I mean, we kind of all saw this coming. We had to get them eventually. That's completely fine. There's a guide. I'm going to question how bad it's going to be. I'm sorry to say this, but the tutorials aren't that great at this game. So the stack is finally added. So sadly, it's only 99 of a kind. So yeah, I was hoping it'd be more. I don't know. It's just because I, I stack massive quantities of stuff. But I guess it's much better than what we currently have, so it's not that bad. And they do say it's only special cards. So if you're farming a 1-1, one -one, it does not help as much. Yeah, well, let's let's hope this eventually they find a way to solve this. Uh, special burst update, all material called, will be brought down. 
Okay, well, that doesn't really make a difference. Uh, Clover status will be deleted. So again, if you're planning to use um, leaders, Use them today if they are on players that are already in your team because they're no longer going to give Clovers. They do cancel that out with the, the Wormwind thingy, so it's not that bad. But I would say just get the leaders to get the, the Clovers too while you're at it. Uh, so again, they're talking about um, the new star system. So a lot of people are going to become uh, classic. And this is pretty damn cool. So in, they're going to be adding some new backgrounds. I'm going to say they, they look kind of good. I don't know. It, it really depends your style again. Uh, you're going to be able to play with them. Um, so you can you can go with that. Player book, Extreme Evolution. They, they kind of changed the way it looked in there. I, I need to see it to see if there's value. But they are saying we're going to be able to view the differences between the versions without actually having to go on the wiki. Who sounds kind of cool, because, I mean, we shouldn't have to. Um, Blood of Code, Thunder Players, and I, I'm not a Thunder player, so I don't, I don't really get it, but I'm, uh, I, I'm guessing it makes sense to Thunder players. I, I don't know. Uh, new Unlock Animations, Auto Placement will now work more reasonable. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not awaiting Auto Placement to ever be good, so that's fine, because Auto Placement will never know the meta. Um, so some some little basic stuff will get, is going to be changed. Uh, same player can now be used as special training material. Uh, the gap between items and events scout has been more wider to make it more intuitive when there are more than seven items. Again, I find it hard to believe that people weren't able to notice that, but I, I've talked to people who just realized there were more. So why not? Uh, feature using a friend's ace has been improved. Now we can see a cooldown. If you join a club, you can choose to use the uh, ace of a club member. So I'm going to say, if I have a club member and he's my friend, should I like delete him because I can still use him? Or how, how exactly is this going to go down? I'm, I'm kind of going to need to see exactly, but this does sound kind of cool. I don't know, does this mean we could technically have 60 free friends? I mean, since I do more than 60 matches when I farm, it, it could be a good form of friendship points. I'm not saying no to it. They've done, again, a bunch of small changes. Nothing really worth noting. Um, you can now acquire a 7-star manager with selective ticket for 750 Dimension Stones. Seriously, if you're paying that much, please, please stop. Just, no, no. Uh, Global War Manager are newly added to them as well. Available, blah, blah blah blah. In the following season, a new Miley, a new manager will release. Please, I manager will become available in GP Scout. So, again, they're trying to force you to play club matches because, well, you know, BB. And I, I hope the matchmaking at least is fixed because that's kind of what killed it for me. So, growth pack wanted to have been added. Now, this is going to be really OP if you're end game because that means that basically for $60, you can leave with. 3,000 crystals and 1.2 million gold. Yes, I'm not even shitting you. Because I, I like how BB her or complains about achievement ranks, and they're like, well, you know what? We're going to make a paid alternative to fixing up the rewards. I mean, that, that's, that's not really cool, I'm sorry to say, but I guess it's the BB way of life. Now, this is what I really feel is now, at this point, just a cash grab is when you see that a free star Mera and a bit of crystals is now $10, that, that clearly is pushing it. You gotta admit it. The Kuma too, I mean, like, seriously, who? We don't even scout Kumas. Why would we be paying money for them? I mean, you can just pay crystals for the, the penguin matches. I, I just, I, I can't even comprehend this one. I guess this one's better than the basic one, but, like, no one gets that either. Now, this, this is honestly... A good one. Why? Because in this game, there's a direct relation between the money you pay and the dimension stones you get. For example, $9, you get $9. $29, you get $30. I know there's like a little one difference, but it depends what value they, they play with it. But the thing is, this would actually be a ratio of 2 for 1 instead of 1 for 1. Who's actually pretty cool if you're trying to just buy dimension stones to force buy a legend. So, kind of kudos on them for doing this one, and I think it's going to bite them in the ass, and they're going to remove it. But we'll see exactly what they do. Um, 
Furion and Labrabravian, Rabian, Rabian. Okay, I didn't. I thought it was Ravian. Will be changed to special player. Both players will have. Well, we don't carry immunities anymore. So yeah, uh, and they're gonna be obtainable. I'm guessing through the next season of uh, PvP. So that's gonna be cool. I'm guessing one will be the next season. One will be the season after. I'm honestly interested in just trying them out, especially Lad Labrat. Rabian does have a very interesting active to face uh, certain current meta problems. I'm just saying let's test it out. Uh, now some balancing here. So again, this has honestly no value because they're saying that they're going to be rebalancing, deleting, and changing skills. So yeah, but what, what's going to happen to the skills first? Because it could be broken or it could make no difference until we know how the aces are actually changed themselves. This has utterly no value. They're just like saying the very basic saying that that mono aces will be stronger than dual aces. They'll be stronger than single aces, but like that just doesn't have a lot of value. The one cool thing they're saying though is that um, most of them for normal, evolve, and extreme will have the same value. I mean. Yeah, I guess. This does mean that sometimes when you're just using a player for his ace, you won't need to E him. Eh, not, a, not a big deal. I, I did like the idea it forced us to E them. It kind of made give you a feeling of accomplishment when you started the game, but I guess we're not going for that anymore. Also, four stars will have the same ace as five stars. That doesn't really make sense to me. I'm, again, I'm guessing for beginner players, but since four stars don't have E's, what, the, what does that mean? It's like, is it now really the same? Because that would kind of be weird. I don't know. Again, just spitballing here. Uh, again, we don't know. It's going to apply to PvP content only. Super League, Galaxy Arena, Galaxy Live Beta. Okay, I'm just, again, just questioning it. When active, A skill add value will be boosted by 160%. Does that mean it's 1.6 or 2.6 times the value? I just... I, I don't know. Again, this is kind of really not clear to anyone. Now, let's talk about Spirit Stones. So, they're like literally aiming against everything that's in the current meta, trying to force it to change it. I, I know they try to do that every time, but as always, it's kind of frustrating. So, Penetration was increased. It, again, Penetration is dead, so it's, it's not going to make a difference. Increased Receiving Pass Effect was also kind of dead at 30%. Recover Spirit with a Steal. I don't know who runs this. Recover Spirit with a Counter Attack. I run this. I'm good with this. That's, that's actually a very good buff for me. Increase Attack Power when being attacked. Increase Attack Power when being attacked. I mean, I run it too. It's, it's not bad. It's not great. It's a 5% buff. I mean, yeah, why not? Recover Action Bar when being attacked. That's basically a light defense sub. I, I don't know who runs this, but okay. Increase receiving pass effect by 12 to 15. So I'm like, who? What's, what stone is this? I, I'm not 100% sure right here. I don't know who has this, but I'm, I'm guessing it'll be helpful. Uh, increase the damage of the target received by 12% with an attack to 14. So that's our door damage increase stones, I'm guessing. And increase the incoming damage by 12% when being attacked to 10% and that's going to be the dark uh, life stones. So pretty much they're aiming at my, well, honestly, this is my favorite stone. I don't like this one so much, but this is basically just going to push for people who have a kit of damage increase to become more powerful and just to be more frustrating for other people. But okay, um, now the uniques, so this is going to be even more frustrating for people. Increase the damage at, well, basically burning matter, reduced 4%. Ignition Catalyst, they're going back up on the action bar, and they're increasing the pass effect because they've realized no one's using it. Well, of course, we're in a utility meta. How is something that only works once in the match have any value? But hey, keep buffing it because we're never going to use it unless you change this from at the beginning of the match to permanently and lower the value to like 15-20%. But hey, keep doing this. Mark of Bond, not also going to be used unless you have a Felix. But hey, let them keep at it. 45% co-op 10, dense magma. Increase penetration resistance to 20 to 25. No one uses penetration anymore. Why? Okay, I'm, I'll just, we'll just accept it. I like how they buff stones who no one uses, buffing subs no one wants. 
Decrease incoming damage by 30% for each target with an attack. Reduce to 25%. Well, I guess Kiki will be taking more damage. Uh, Ancient Stormer, recover action bar by 20% of an attack to 25. Not a big buff and, again, not very popular. Dragon Bone, increase crit rate by 15% of an attack, accumulates up to 3 times. Increase critical rate by 15% of an attack, accumulates up to 4 times. Eh, that, that sounds kind of cool in a way. It's a little buff, an extra 15%. No issue there. Shaking Heart of Thunder, critical damage, critical rate. Again, not, not really that great. Gladaris, increase attack power 30 to 40%. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Star Tier, who kind of really strong. Now, defense will be increased by 20%. That makes no big difference. Calm Icicle, increase attack power by 30% with an attack. Increase attack power by 40, uh, 60%, what am I saying? Also pretty cool. Now, as always, Light is the one who usually tends to get nerfed. Increase critical rate by 25% of an attack, accumulates up to 3 times. Critical rate 20% of an attack, accumulates up to 3 times. I can bet you anything you want that every Vonchi is going to end up with a Dragon's Bone. But hey, let's, let's let them believe that this was a smart move. Paradise of Light. Increase max life and attack power. Max life and attack power, 5% buff. I don't know why they put the life twice, but okay. Leah thanks you. Armalation, increase max life 25 to 35. Isilla thanks you. That's kind of cool for light goalkeepers. Until they usually switch to get the POME. Shard of Bum, uh, Balu, I, I can never pronounce it. Increase critical rate 25%, accumulates up to 5 times. Increase critical, well, it's critical damage. 20% 4 times, well this is, this is kind of a strong debuff. Because between... Uh, 125 to 80%. That's, that's kind of really hitting it hard, though. 45% taking it away right there. I don't know. It kind of looks weaker, but again, it, it does push Vonchi's base skill back as the number one way to get critical damage. So I'm really not even going to complain. Uh, Bond of Silence recover action bar by 10% if it passes, 20%. I've never actually used it, but it, it kind of could be interesting. I'm not saying no. Uh, Fontish Tissue Sample, Increase Attack Power, well, yeah, I, I agree to buffing that one. There's no issue there. Now, we love uh, to buff all Spirit Stone, but in that some Spirit Stones have been toned down. We ask you for your understanding. You know, I, I just don't get Metatron's Will. I agree with everything else. Just like, Metatron Will was one of the rare ways to get crit right around here. Now, some managers have been balanced. Again, most of them are just going to be premium ones. More GP, less cooldown. Uh, also, she's got a new passive increased chance of Spirit Stones. I'm guessing if you're really trying to get that unique stone now that has value, I'm guessing, again, I'm not planning to use it, so... They're saying they've improved AI. Now, let's be honest. How many times have they said this before? And how many times have we seen people suicide into Metatron? I'm just saying. We'll wait and see, but again, I'm really not believing it's going to be that good. Uh, environment improvement. Well, okay. I I guess they change the intensity. I I don't really like that because it kind of means that on super boss matches it's going to be like super OP, and the rest of the time it's gonna be fine. And they're gonna say because it's a super boss match, they can tone it up so high. I don't know. It feels like something you could completely abuse. Well, we'll see how it's it's been done. Um. Yeah, you'll be experiencing harsh environments, uh, knowing that they've added uh, that new skill that's now going to be able to tone down spirit stones, and that they're going to be able to buff it for super boss matches. It's kind of problematic for most of us, but again, we need to see exactly how they implement it. It might cause problems, it might not. Um, now again, they've changed the evolutions to use the new elements. Uh, a few little changes have been done. But this, this shouldn't be anything of big value. Fix issue with the rhythm of some characters. Okay. I, I guess this is, this is kind of fine. Again, we need to see some of the changes, but at least in my case, this means a free, well, basically free 3,000 free crystal. And for a lot of us, that, that's kind of cool. I don't know. We'll wait and see exactly what the Ace Burst does. But if it does buff an extra 160%, that is going to be really broken. Uh, have a good day, guys. And if you have any comments, just write it in the description.